What is going on guys? We are back with another video. Today I'm Madden 20 and we're doing another realistic rebuild. This time it is of the Houston Texans post whatever you want to call that DeAndre Hopkins decision trade and this is going to be an interesting one because the Texans they had holes but they also do have in some positions some of the best players in the league. Will Fuller is a guy that I will be likely to keep a hold of because star development 25 not bad at all. I really wish Kiki QT was a higher overall. And then, of course, Randall Cobb. I don't know what that decision is, but sure, sure. Uh, you have two decent linebackers that you could hold on to for the rest of the, the rebuild. However, it is, you know, eh, you know their development's not going to go up. Well, I mean, their development might go, but they might not develop well because 24 and 26, in modern terms at least, is kind of high. It's like if you don't get a rookie and you develop them right away, you're in trouble. So this team isn't in the worst of shape, but it definitely is a great candidate for a rebuild, especially after losing Hopkins because, you know, Stills isn't like crazy young, especially since he's normal. You know, he's not going to get higher than like an 84, 85 if he's lucky. And then, you know, same with some of the other guys. But Will Fuller might have a chance. You, know, you have tight end issues, O-line issues. Tunsil's going to ask for a lot of money. So, you know, speaking of asking for things, uh, the biggest thing I can ask from you guys is, is to let me know in the comment section below what you want to see next. I have a few suggestions, one of them being uh, Panthers without Cam and Teddy instead. And then one of the other big ones besides that would be the uh, the Colts with some of the new moves they had. Of course, uh, they had some interesting offseason moves. And, uh, I mean, I suppose you can leave a like and subscribe. I mean, everyone's in isolation, and I'm still playing Madden, like, daily and more than daily like quite a bit every day so one like equals one prayer that's the biggest injustice of this whole thing not really at all so please don't hate me but you know like joke huh? this is also a weird situation i know in real life duke johnson's not really a starting caliber running back well not starting caliber but he's not built for the starting job necessarily but in that end he's quite a bit better than david johnson like quite a bit Yet, I have to start David because, well, do I have to start it? I mean, it's kind of be a split backfield, right? David can't just come in. Yeah, he's going to start right out of the gate, isn't he? Also, what the hell happened to DJ Reader? Where did he go? Ah, the Bangles. Damn. Look at him. He's so good. Look at him. Oh, why would you? The Texans have made some mistakes, and they do not have a lot of draft picks to fix those mistakes. Also... I'll get into this. Don't worry. I'm not going to talk about this forever. But I I don't know if I'm going to do it for... Okay, it's preseason. I forgot. I don't know if I'm going to do this for every single one, but I went through and freaking force won and lost every single game here. So, depends on how accurate it is because there will be some, you know, where it was a tie and it didn't happen. So, I don't want some of the best of picks to be completely ruined. You know, if the top 10's wrong, I'd rather just, you know, have little to no scouting but this is what we're going to do for this one at least. And, you know, if it goes well, maybe we'll do this for the rest of them. So now I... This time, I think I've earned that like and sub. I'm just saying. Uh, we do know we're going to make the playoffs. Cheese in it a little bit. Oh, no. I wonder what's going to happen. So we are in the playoffs. Obviously, we know the Texans do make it. And I think that was right. Right? I think. <laughs> I, I think so. Of course, uh, in this one, we uh, do have to force some wins and whatnot. But here are the stats for Deshaun Watson. I don't know the stats in real life comparatively, but we also do have Duke Johnson a little early. Not great numbers at all. And this is basically the taste we're going to get in a moment. So, yeah, kind of a kind of a yikes. What did uh, J.J. Watt get? 11 and a half. Wow, this team is good. <laughs> this, this team is great. Uh, pick totals, Hargraves. Yeah, not super impressive. I'm trying to think. Yeah, no one would have an award, so who cares? So we have all the realistic moves except for the fact that Darren Fells decided to retire. I'm not super sad about that, to be honest, but they signed him to a two-year deal in real life, which once again begs the question of why? I tried to do that, uh, the meme guy. Also kind of sounds like, uh, like an Owen Wilson, like, cousin or something. Uh, looking at the offense, we did have a Will Fuller, uh, scenario at one point. Of course, he didn't get it because, you know, it's Madden after all. He's, you know, no chance to get that. Uh, defensively, any dev ups, we did not have a single one, unfortunately. Bradley Groby does have a uh, three-year deal. Anyone else? No one else went up in dev. 
This team needs an overhaul. So basically, I think in free agency, we're going to look for the deals uh, and the steals. Of course, we have some names that we can't touch, but some we might be able to. And with that being said, there really isn't anyone there to go for. So I also did update most of the devs. Hopefully, I didn't forget anyone. But at least even if I do forget someone, it's not going to be as bad as forgetting the entire freaking class. Uh, but you can tell our draft picks aren't looking too hot. Wide receiver is definitely a position we need to take a look at ASAP. Uh, I, I do remember one already. I do remember giving Brandon Ayuk quite a high dev. I think it was at least star. Uh, I don't remember all of them, though. I think Pittman is a star. Uh, these guys are all, like, bad rank, though. Pittman's a star. I think I gave Colin Johnson star as well. Uh, anyone else? Mims, I think, is a star. And then I don't remember. One of these, maybe two of these guys in the top are normal. It might be Rager and Chenault. No, it wouldn't be Chenault. It was definitely maybe Rager. I don't even remember. Uh, I believe I gave a few of the tight ends star development. Tight ends actually a pretty big need on this team. Do we go with Albert O as our first pick? We might. I also changed a lot of the running backs. I think five have new devs. Uh, QBs, I gave four of them new devs. Uh, I even dropped one of the devs, I believe. Uh, granted, I, I don't remember all these guys, like I said, but a lot of these guys are are changed. Uh, JR might have star. I don't think Ashton Davis does. Even though I'm so used to him having it because of uh, that one class. Uh, Deshaun Watson needs a contract. Honestly, he's just a guy you're going to have to keep for life. Oh, maybe I should have went with the rookie deal because he did... Nah, I mean, it's not like you can replace him, right? Like, you just can't replace a, what, 88-plus overall guy. Uh, Gary and Connolly, if we do want to keep him... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just... Yeah, it's... Maybe we should have done the deal there. It's a tough decision sometimes. All right, maybe with these dev ups, we actually see the proper player... Okay, so uh, some of the picks are messed up, like we said. So I think with that being said, we might have to uh, go back to the way we were. But some of these moves still make a lot of sense. It's just the Giants kind of got completely screwed over here. Uh, let's go to the end of the round and see who's there. Maybe make a decision if we want to trade up. This team isn't really in the most luxury of situations for trading up, but we'll see. You do see a guy like Xavier McKinney there, which is quite big, actually. Uh, Albert, oh, you don't want to lose him. Uh, where does Ayuk late second? Um... Xavier McKinney. I don't remember exactly the dev we gave him, but we definitely gave him over normal. Actually, he might have already had over normal. I can't remember. Do we just keep moving until one of them is gone? We could just go for Ayuk, perhaps. Uh, Becton. I think we upped his dev. Isaiah Wilson. Hmm, there's some, uh, there's some names here. See, the thing is, I think if a guy like Becton falls here, you have to take him. So we're gonna just take Becton. Uh, 71 overall, hidden. I don't remember what the dev was. Maybe star, probably. With T. Higgins gone, I think we're going to trade up to the Rams to try and get Ayuk. I think that's a guy that they've been linked to several times now. We give them 58 Martin and a fifth next to move up six spots in the second round. Not crazy for, uh, I mean, if anything, they kind of gained quite a bit because Martin's actually not bad. Ooh, another lineman, though. I didn't expect there to be this many linemen here. Like, there's a lot. But wide receiver is the biggest need. Brandon Ayuk, young, developable, and here we go. I Once again, I know I upped his dev. I don't know what the dev was. It was either star or superstar, nothing higher, of course. It might have been superstar because I think he's kind of a sleeper. I mean, he's not really much of a sleeper anymore as, you know, he is actually shooting up the board quite a bit, but <laughs> shooting up the board. Jared, Pink Jared Pinkney, I think we dev'd him up as well a bit. Hamler, I think, is up. Uh, Terrell Davis already had star on this class. Do we trade up for him? Because I don't see any other pass rushers, and this team is quite desperate for pass rusher. Could use a corner as well. There's some names here. This is tough. We traded Nick Martin on pick 90 and 122 to go up to 65. I figured uh, Martin was probably a fourth-round pick because he's decently young, and alignment are very hard to get, as you guys could tell by the free agent signings. Ooh, a Quora. I think he does have normal on this class, though. I'm almost certain. Almost. <laughs> Not fully certain. Yeah, but so basically two fourths, like two mid to late fourths 
for uh, and you know late third to move up high third. I think that's kind of fair. Screw going to do Terrell Lewis because I think a Quora might be normal. Uh, but star development, I believe Terrell Davis. It's not Terrell Davis. It's Terrell Lewis. Uh, is he not a pass rusher? Excuse me. I was trickered. Of course, half the damn roster is gone like we expected. Mims probably won't fall that far. Uh, AJ Green. Yeah, this team meets quarter. We're going to go AJ Green, who does have hidden. I do not remember that. I just remember him, him being one of the highest ranked guys we had. Uh, yeah, he's not bad, actually. Colin is not that like heavy-wise. We're going to take him anyways, though. Maybe put him at tight end. Maybe make an argument that he gains some weight, loses some speed. Because he does, you know, he kind of fits that role because of how tall he is. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Great. I can't fix my draft order when there's nobody there to fix it. Even the random DT I put on is gone. Dead. And then here's Brian Lyman. Why didn't we go for a punter, by the way? We have our kicker Fairburn for like four years. Okay, dude. Always using my brain. Can never argue that. Or you can, like most people would. Makai backed in our new right tackle as we trade or trade. We move Titus down to guard uh, star development. Brandon Ayuk, I don't remember this. He might be superstar. Was he? Okay, he was superstar. That's the guy we changed. Number 84. That kind of looks all right. That looks all right. I'll allow it. Uh, Terrell Lewis, a guy that I thought was a pass rusher, but apparently not. Uh, star development. What else do we have? We, I mean, we landed good devs, right? But some of the positions I'm not super happy with. You know, like wide receiver does make a lot of sense, but I really think we should have drafted a safety and mainly a DT. But all the DTs were gone. In fairness, I don't. Th I think he's star, right? Yeah. Okay. For a second, I thought I gave him superstar. I might have been Tyler Johnson. I gave superstar. Uh, and that's pretty much that. I won't go into all of these devs because. I kind of don't want to ruin it. I think Okuda I gave X Factor. Delpit is super. Uh, Judy and Lamb are superstar X Factor. Uh, Ruggs I only gave star, even though you know he could become a really good player in the league. Uh, Herbert I might have given star just because he's a high. Ex you know he's expected to go pretty high. But yeah, a lot of all the middle linebackers I gave star, uh, even though they're really fast and you know decent. Kinlaw, I gave most of the DTs star, except for Derek Brown. I gave superstar. I uh, give him star. I'm obviously, you could tell by the fact that he went a lot earlier this time. But yeah, a lot of the guys did get star in the first two to three, two and a half rounds. But I also didn't, you know, just hand out superstars. So, you know, at least in that sense, it's it's better than normal classes, but it's not crazy bad. If you guys want, I could re-upload it. I don't really want to steal the credit off of that one dude who actually made the class, and I'm just changing the devs, but. It is what it is. The real question is, is there any names we can get rid of that are expensive? Uh, like I said, I would like to move Colin Johnson to tight end because tight end's not looking too hot around here, and I think I will. So we trade Kenny Stills of the Packers for pick 94. Uh, Kenny Stills really hasn't worked out. I know there was flashes where it was like, hey, maybe um, you know, maybe those 40 billion first rounds they gave him weren't a bad idea, and that quickly ended. He's the Packers' problem now. They can overpay him if they want. We don't need that many wide receivers. Even after that, we probably have too many wide receivers. But Will Fuller and uh, Ayuk with Br uh, Brandle. <laughs> my, my Brandle. Uh, Randall Cobb in the slot. Kiki QT is a backup. Not a bad group of receivers. We also did make the argument. Well, not even the argument. We, uh, we seen Colin Johnson eat a lot. This man was hungry. He gained just about 22, about 21 pounds in the offseason. Of course, it's going to take a hit to his speed and excel. He dropped two points on both of those. But he did improve his blocking by a good 10 points. So he's uh, looking to start his NFL career as an NFL tight end. That big frame's going to work no matter where you play him. But uh, we definitely appreciate him taking one for the team or himself to the, to the Mickey D's. And I never call it Mickey D's, but I also don't want to call it by the actual name. Mickey D's nuts. <laughs> yeah, if you click off, I wouldn't blame you. All right, here we are. This is the new offense. Uh, Duke Johnson and David didn't really do too well, but we gave David the starting role, and he did really poorly. Uh, we do have to move Ayuk up quite a bit. Uh, this is what the roster looks like. Like I said, offensive line, not bad, of course. Okay, Fulton's supposed to be a guard tackle, is, or center is supposed to be sharping. We'll uh, fix that a little bit. I mean, the whole offensive line's actually wrong. 
Howard's supposed to be right guard. Fulton's supposed to be left guard. Sharping's supposed to be center. Beckton's supposed to be right tackle. Tunsil's supposed to be left tackle. That is the most messed up offensive line I've seen ever. Like, it's not even close to where I wanted it to be. And, uh, yeah, D-line, you know, DT is definitely an issue. But we'll we'll solve that at some point or another if we ever get any draft picks, that is. We gave Laramie Tunsil a five-year deal. I tried to give Deshaun a five-year instead of a seven. And he's apparently saying he doesn't like anything about it, which is cool, dude, I guess. Um, we'll end up getting him at some point. Zach Cunningham, uh, that is actually quite a bit. I can see why they sometimes let him go. Uh, what else do we have? Gary Connolly, 25. We'll get... Yeah, that's not a bad deal. That's not a bad deal. Uh, so, the ones we have question marks about are Zach Cunningham. And then, of course, Deshaun. What do we do? 35 mil a year is quite a bit. I mean, a tag itself. I mean, I think it's going to come down to how well he plays. If, he's, if he starts looking pretty good, we'll give him the deal. But if he doesn't, we might Dak Prescott him a little bit. If we're win, we're in? Question mark? We are not in. We did win, but we were not in. Uh, the Colts take the division at 10-6. and six. Wow, 9-7. and seven. Obviously, I have no reason to want to lose since we have none of our own draft picks. Deshaun Watson isn't really carrying this team. Uh, David, a lot of touchdowns. Rushing. Wow, this team is. This team has no identity. Ayuk might be an X-Factor, ironically enough. This team literally has no identity. They don't know who the hell they are on offense. Offensive line was... I mean, meh. I mean, they're okay. Sack totals, uh, absolutely horrendous outside of the one they call Watt. Uh, corners, I'm not super happy about it. Tackles, where were we there? Zach Cunningham, good go to Superstar. I did give him the five-year deal, so hopefully that works. Fairburn, oh well, he's locked in, so can't do anything about that. Any award wins? Uh, Ayuk, probably, right? Outside of that, though, I wouldn't expect. Nope, not even close. Number five, forgot about all the damn QBs. Uh, did get AJ Green, though, which is kind of surprising. Uh, anyone else? Cam Newton on the Colts. Very interesting signing there. I don't think so, right? Ayuka at number four. Okay, actually, it's not bad. Uh, Tunsil at number six. D-line, Watt at number three. I mean, you're not really going to see much more here. And then kicker. Yeah, not even close. <laughs> not even close. But this is kind of what I've ex I expected, so... Let's just say the Dolphins, they did a good job. Eagles versus the Browns and the... Browns win. Let's take a look at our dev ups. You could be an X Factor. He is already an X Factor. Nice. I think he's going to actually play number one for us. Uh, Randall Cobb, 75 overall, already dropped. Uh, some of the overalls look okay on offense. You know, offensive line really didn't do too well in Devian wise. Tight end was okay. Defensively, Cunningham didn't go up, which is a massive L. And I'm talking massive. AJ Green is going to be our third best corner. Probably almost closer to number one after after next season. There's a lot of needs. And we have almost next to no ways of getting them outside of free agency. Love it. So we ended up tagging Watson for 27 mil. Uh, I offered him a seven-year deal worth 223. He wouldn't take it, which is super harsh considering he was barely average. Uh, and, I mean, I thought it was a fair deal, so... The tag it is, pal. Apparently, we have 22.57 mil. They wanted to show that up close because they realize how uh, sad and pathetic it is of us. So, David Johnson will be let go. Merciless, I don't know if we can let go, but I would love to if I can. We've got a lot of guys on this team that are making way more mo uh, money than they need to be. A lot more money than they need to be. And if we can get rid of those, we might be able to save some money. So, David is pretty much worth nothing. So, let's see if we can get rid of him. Three mil loss, but it's totally worth it. He's not. It's just, you know, he's not the guy. Uh, Whitney Merciless. Oh, it's going to suck. Yeah, as I expected, it's going to suck. Tayshawn, that's not a bad drop. So we get rid of him. Get rid of Angelo Blackson. We're making, you know, we're getting a bit of our money back. Doesn't help, though, that Watt's making quite a bit. But, I mean, even then, it's not really a quite a bit. He's he's not making that much when, I, when it's all said and done. If there's any moves that we can do to, you know, maybe get a cheaper guard as well, perhaps, or even similar to, that just isn't real. <laughs> that just isn't how that works. I will say, Kenny Clark, the Packers, as a Packers fan, I know will offer him quite a bit of money, and I do see a very, very high chance of him signing. However, with how tight the salary cap situation is over here, I'm not going to say that it's a guarantee. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to say it's a guarantee. So I'm, 
I'm actually going to offer him a contract because, like I said, I don't think it's guaranteed at all. You know, if he if he tries to break the bank by more than this, which he likely will, we might have to let him go or we'll try to tag him and then he'll just hold out. I mean, I, I'm just saying it's not a guarantee. Now Mahomes being re-signed, that's a guarantee. So this is just, just makes no sense at all. Uh, any other moves you can you do? A five-year 34 and a half, that's quite expensive for a safety. I'd rather just get one in the, the draft, even though we have terrible picks. Thank you once again. So Nick Foles being a superstar is quite interesting. He's actually really solid, too. That's that's a really solid 76 overall. You must have everything else is bad. Not, not even. 71 awareness, 72 break sack. Look, I mean, 87 medium, 85 short, 82 deep. 93 throw power. He's actually kind of balling. Well, we just got scammed hard. We did not get Kenny Clark. And I mean, it's not like we're in a situation where we have unlimited cap space or anything like that. But still, it would have been a huge addition and not that big of a cost. We did get Kazi, though, which, you know, is a big need. We got him for two years. So, you know, strong safety, safety in general, safe for uh, a few things. Safe? Safe? I didn't even mean to say it. And you could tell because it wasn't a good joke. I just can't wait for this to be, like, one of the best drafts ever. Okay, it doesn't look very good in fairness at all, just based off of the the projections of when they should go. Uh, we do have two decent third-rounders, two kind of bad fourths, no fifth, and, you know, who cares about the rest, to be honest. So it's going to be a tough find, but if we can even find two hiddens, that's a W. All right, so we have a couple of players late in the third. We also do have a... DN that could probably play outside linebacker for us. I'm going to try to get to 16, and if he's there, his name is DJ Henry. Uh, we'll trade up for him, I suppose. But if he's not, then we're screwed. Which he probably won't be there because it did say late second, which we know how that goes. So we gave him Dylan Cole, 78 this, and a fourth next year for 47. I think that's pretty fair compensation. Uh, Dylan Cole's 27, 74 overall. He's decent. Uh, draft board... I believe. What about Tommy Croft, though? Ooh, we got some players, though. We got some players. Tony Shelton, his rank is low, but he is definitely the best DT we have. Where does he have the hope for the best? Tony Shelton it is. Okay, he is hidden, but damn, it's hard to develop. Oh, it's so hard to develop DTs, and he is a project. Yikes. Project yikes. Let's go to the next round. I really don't. I mean, I don't want to trade up again, but we're going to lose some very talented players if we don't. We should keep going until we lose one of the players and then trade up. Hopefully that's not for a while, or maybe we even get lucky and neither of them are gone. Oh, God. And he was so good, too. He was so good on top of it. Wow, a 78 overall. Yeah, if I knew he was a 78 overall, I, I you know, crazy. Call me crazy. I probably would have traded up. Just, I'm just saying. I know we're not, you know, doing much better than the real-life Texans, but we trade 83, Lonnie Johnson, and a fifth next year for 68. We're trading away some of our actual players, which is kind of sucky, but if this is another good pick, it's another good decision because, obviously, we're trading up for guys that are going to be future-proof for us. Damn, we do not have a lot of linemen left. Oh, well. Uh, oh, we didn't even finish this guy. I didn't even get to finish him. I put him on the board because I saw the top two, and then I forgot I didn't... Damn it. Uh, Landon Horton, though. Please, for the love of Jesus, replace Whitney Merciless. Okay. Once again, the overall is extremely low. But getting... Wait, this guy only has that kind of speed? What was the other guy's? This guy was 4, 6, 7, right? And he was only 81, 80? The other guy's got to be like 73 speed. But yeah, it's... I mean, we're landing decent picks. You can't deny it. When was that guard, actually? Are we going to trade up for every pick in this freaking class? Gene Goldberg. Yeah, he's wow, he's actually really good. In a user league, that might be a second-round pick just because of how fast and tall he is. Fifth-round pick. I mean, he's not... He's good, but we got a bunch of safeties in the free agency class. And ultimately, if he's gone, he's gone. But, uh, oh, damn it, I was just saying that. Ah, oh, this is getting ridiculous how high these players go. Like, so much higher than they're supposed to. Damn, we kind of got screwed over since we were robbed blindly this draft. Watch, next year's the year we actually do well. I mean, I guess, to be fair, we didn't have a bad year here either. Can we move to the fifth? So we did get the fifth, but not by much. <laughs> That's a few picks. Uh, who do we have there? I swear with this class, everyone's just gone. 
Uh, Blair, Blair is actually decent. He's 23, though. Groves, 21. Uh, we're gonna go Blair because I think Groves should still be there. Blair Dickinson, not bad. 69 overall, of course, he is normal. Wow, this guy technically is better than the other guy, but obviously Dev is huge, especially at DT. If it was, you know, maybe another position, maybe wide receiver, you're arguing, hey, who starts, but... Yeah, and this one, it's not even a question. You got to go for the dev and, of course, the youth as well, specifically for that position. Uh, Forrest Groves, maybe we get sneaky? We did, but once again, another dev situation. Uh, we can only have so many tackles, so uh, maybe that wasn't even the best pick at all. Espe I mean, imagine he was hidden. I don't even know what the hell I would do with that. In the sixth round, we're going to take... Is that guy good? Well, what's the difference between, like, a first... Like this guy, it says uh, late first, and this guy, it says fifth, but this guy looks better based on potentials. Whatever, Cade Perella. Yikes. 186? How is that an A? I don't even know, man. We're going to the seventh round. Probably going to trade this down as well. Yeah, I mean, there is a bit of a... I mean, I don't know how good that, that tackle the, the Raiders took is, so we'll take a look at him, but it's a bit of a, of a butterfly effect. You know, if we would have got Kenny Clark... We wouldn't have felt as overwhelmed in the draft. We wouldn't have had trade-up for the DT, which in that case, we would end up going for the, the tackle instead because, you know, we wouldn't have have to worry about trading up so much. And, uh, yeah, Horton, we, we saw the, the first guy was star, right? I hopefully didn't forget to. I was too busy thinking. Star development. Was he star? Yeah, he was star. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do we land any sneaky one? Actually, those are our only two hidden, so no, we didn't land any sneaky ones. Damn it. First player in the draft was a DT, Mr. Kelvin Wilson to the Lions. Not a bad pick. You know, D lineman, pass rush. Assuming he is pass rush, I didn't even look. Superstar, I didn't even pay attention to that. Was he? I'm assuming he has block shed, but maybe he's also a pass rusher. We really let that guy go in the early third. Yikes. That is a yikes. Okay, he is normal, but go down. Holy crap, he's good. What about the uh, the pass rusher, the edge rusher? Where is he? Here's DJ Henry, 78 speed, 82 excel. He is hidden. If he's higher than star, I'm going to cry. Just, I'm just saying. Nice. Nice indeed. Gotta love it. All right, so technically going into year two, this is what the roster looks like. Uh, Ayuk has been playing well. He played well. At number two. We're going to put him at number one, though, because he's earned that role. Randall Cobb is still 10. No, he's not the starter because QT is a better overall, which means he's a better player. Running back. Duke Johnson gets the nod again, but he really hasn't been performing well. So, yeah, we might need to do something about that position. Offensive line, left guard and center. We've still been looking for new players. Everyone else, though, is perfectly fine. Tight end's great. Uh, and then looking at the defense, of course, Horton and Lewis will be the starters. I have Whitney Merciless on the, the trade block. If nobody offers, we are going to end up releasing him because he is expensive as hell. And then cornerbacks, we added Fabian Moreau for depth with AJ Green just sitting at the number three spot still. So we're getting younger, but are we really getting that much better this? Or, you know, it's not really going super well so far, but... You can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel, just a little bit. So JJ wants a two-year deal, and I am totally fine with that. We have a lot of cap space now. Uh, catch, really, dude. Uh, Deshaun Watson is willing to take a little bit less this year, it seems, so I'm going to just give him the deal. Oh, my Lord, with these guys. Oh, look at Justin Reed just being a cool dude. He signed Justin Reed to a six-year, $40 million deal. Uh, some of these other players on the offense, you know, well, not offense, but just some of these other players... Might not get a contract. Kiki Kiki T. That might be a debate. Depends on how well he plays in the number three spot. Duke Johnson, not a bad backup, but as a starter, he really hasn't gotten it done. We re-signed Deshaun Watson, but Watt said it wasn't enough when I gave him a two-year 45. So he's going to be playing under the tag. Congratulations. Headed to the playoffs, which we are not in. And if you want to know why, it's because we lost like five straight. Love it. Uh, we were doing all right. You know, four, one, and one. And then we lost five straight, won one, lost one, won one, and then lost two. My favorite thing in the world. So we're getting progressively worse, six, nine, and one. Uh, Deshaun did not deserve that contract at all. I don't know what it is, but he's just not good. So I'm glad we signed him. I don't know if you guys are, 
Uh, receiving numbers are terrible, but it's Deshaun. It's it's simply Deshaun Watson, nothing else. Uh, pass rush was awful, absolutely awful. You would have thought we were in a 4-3, and even then, that's disrespectful numbers. Fairburn keeps missing. We were twentieth, uh, 30th in offense. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, what else do we have? Any any award wins at all? No? Horton wins defensive rookie of the year. That's a big one. And I'm going to assume that was the only award at all. Love it. I'm so happy to see it. Like, don't get me wrong. We're not good, right? But we're not that bad. We see 81 overall teams make the playoffs all the time. And we're, what, an 84? Come on now. And that's, you know, take away the morale losses as well. Uh, what else? Is JJ Watt gone? Did he retire? Okay, he didn't retire. Uh, 18 mil is pretty fair because, you know, he's basically asking for less than that if we would have re-signed him. So, it is what it is. Cobb, no chance. Uh, Duke Johnson's been garbage. Kiki QT wasn't anything special. We're going to let him go. So, we have near 60 mil to work with. We re-signed Deshaun Watson. I can't really think of many players we have to re-sign soon. Ayuk is not going to be for a while. We could use a number three wide receiver. That's not a huge need, though. Uh, left guard, center are decent needs. Running back is obviously the biggest. Hopefully, there's a big name there. Pass rusher, Horton. Uh, apparently, didn't go up in dev, even though he's defensive rookie of the year, which is just great news. AJ Green's going to move up to number two, maybe even number one, as Bradley Roby is going to be playing his last season with us here. And then I'm pretty sure we could, I mean, we could use a right end. Outside of that, though, I mean, there's not a whole lot we can do. Unless there's obviously insane upgrades in free agency that we can afford. Which, let's see, please be a running back. Orlando Brown, that's a very, very good offensive lineman. That's that's a very good player. Devin Funches, apparently, 85 overall. Uh, Kerryon Johnson, uh, do we pay him a five-year deal? It might be worth going for Kerryon Johnson. We need a running back desperately. You know, this isn't that big of a risk. I think it's worth going for. I think he's worth it. All right, so we offer some big names, and if we get some of these, these could be huge upgrades. And we got some. Isaiah Oliver to a four-year deal worth about three and a half per, which is actually pretty decent. Orlando Brown was quite costly, but that is a solid offensive lineman. Carry on Johnson, new uh, starting halfback, not bad. Matt Paradis, new starting center. And then a new punter. Right now, because uh, Anger needs a contract soon, I believe, and, of course, he is on the older side. Of course, we're going to have to move Titus, uh, not Titus, uh, Laramie inside, because he's the only one small enough to actually play guard, which kind of sucks. It's, I don't know, I don't really like it. You know, you don't pay that kind of money. I mean, you could pay that kind of money for a good guard. He is still really good. It's just, you know, you trade for a guy like that, you want him to be tackled, but at the same time... He is extremely good anyways. So, I mean, it's when you have tackles like these, you know, Becton and Orlando, you you find it okay to move a guy like Tunsil inside to guard. It's all right. No matter where you're playing him, you're going to be paying him that much anyways. So, it is what it is. We also did add Jarrell Casey and Kiki QT back. So, that's a huge win for us. Didn't get any running back backup. Hines would have been a nice backup. Didn't get Humphreys and did not get Funches. Funches would have been really good because we could have moved Fuller down to three and then we'd had two solid number one and twos because Funches is actually pretty solid. But yeah, I'm really happy with the free agency. Finally, would have been nice if we had Kenny Clark a season ago, but yeah, not bad. Oh, Carrion Johnson has an upgrade as well. I will take it. 85 overall, not bad at all. Yeah, what is it? Three, four mil per year? Actually, no, it was like five or six. It's still fine though. Very good power back. Hey, yeah, you got a uh, star. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We got Marquise Pouncey as well. Uh, One-year deal. Same with Paradis. So, yeah, our uh, offensive line is all star. They look very good. Offense is superiorly improved. Uh, defense, obviously, we have to upgrade Horton. Uh, there's still things you need to draft. Cornerback is still pretty high on the list uh, with safety being very high. And then I think D-line especially because Drell Casey, that... Maybe is a one-year deal, while Watt is literally a one-year, and he might even retire after this season. But, I mean, we're in a good spot, and if this isn't at least a playoff team, I don't know what to tell you, because it's at least that, right? Uh, Titus Howard, you're going to have to pay him anyways, right? Let's just go. Let's just see how this works out. We're going to pick up his pick up his fifth-year option. Let's see. Because you're going to have to pay him a lot of money anyways. Actually, no, that was a terrible decision. How, how good is he? Please tell me he's in the 80s. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's like 80 overall, so that wasn't the worst decision. I think once you get to the 80-ish area, you're going to be paying about 10 per year anyways. Yeah, we should have just signed him. <laughs> that was a bad decision. All right, let's start the draft. Uh, this class, unfortunately, does not... I mean, DT is still obviously a huge need, and I would have taken one here in the top 10, but there's no real decent DTs. This class is loaded on wide receiver, which is, isn't a need at top in a pick 10. Uh, linebacker is not bad here either, though. 27 for Cunningham. McKinney's got to be older than that. 29. There's a decent middle linebacker there. Well, at least he looks decent. He's got okay skills, and he's very fast, which usually speed is what gets me going. So, uh, if he's there, we will take him. Number one overall was a wide receiver, Keith Miller. Number two is a tight end. Okay, interesting. <laughs> These are looking like really weird picks. Hopefully, the middle linebacker's there. Uh, Boggles there. There is another middle linebacker as well. He doesn't look as good, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully he's there. There also is a corner, though. If, and he's gone. Bayless, please, Rams. Honestly, I'm a little surprised they didn't take him because they're probably one of the biggest teams for needs at middle linebacker. There is a safety, but I also have one late first we might be able to trade up for. But here is the guy, Mr. Xavier Riddle. The other guy has a high grade, but it's because of his bench press, and he's not super fast. So we're going to go with the guy with the youth and the guy with the speed. Late first, best case scenario is like, what, 20? Like for us, so... Ooh, 20, though. You know, the other guy is decent, too. Okay, okay, let's see if we can move back like five spots. All right, so we trade back five spots, and we do get a third this. They end up getting a great safety Please don't tell me this was a bad decision. That's all I'm going to tell you. Last pick, Packers. Even here, the Packers don't know how to take them in a linebacker. Xavier Riddle, please, for the love of Jesus, be hidden. Even if you're star. Okay, we're supposed to take him 24. We took him 15. Hidden, he is a little raw, 71 overall, but he is very fast. Pretty damn good coverage. Really good cat. Oh, this guy's a god. Stamina is very bad, though, which is... That's a huge one. That is huge, but... Obviously, this guy is an amazing player. Hit power is a little low, but he's still very good. And we should keep moving down a little bit. I'm worried about this safety, though. Nah, a lot of really good players are going. Uh, let's go to the Falcons. See if we can maybe add McKinney in like a second round, maybe? Actually, we don't have a... We have a really good second round, which I don't think is fair. So we gave them a fourth. Sharping, Deion... Uh, not Deion Jones. Uh, McKinney and our second round pick to move up to 19, which I think is definitely fair because McKinney is good. I was thinking, wait, they have Deion Jones, and I was like, yeah, but they also lose Alakun and Devondre Campbell 99% of the time. Uh, who do we have here? I mean, it kind of looks like safety's the best. Oh, he's 23, though. I know that's not crazy old. Oh, God. Lenny, how are you doing, pal? Don't get me wrong, I do get we have to replace our center, but... Can we not just replace him with a random center every time? Like, is that tackle really worth it? Safety, you know, we would definitely be replacing every time, but they're never, ever going to get better. But you also have a, a tackle that looks really good. Um, Chris McCann, it is what it is. Please be... Okay, so I feel a lot better about this pick now, believe it or not. Wow, look at the catching. This guy's really good. Hopefully he's better than Star just because of that. Uh, let's see if we can maybe move to like eight. I know we're risking a lot by trading up so much, but that guy does look very good in fairness to one done. Uh, there's the other guy 71 overall. We'll have to take a look at how good he was. We trade a third this, a fourth next, and Omanahu for the 40th pick in this year's class. Hopefully that tackle didn't go because I didn't really pay attention, but I, I think he was... Wow, this guy's still here, by the way. He's 24 though, in fairness, but, uh... What about Du Bois? Du Bois? Du what up, Du Bois? Late second. Oof, that guy's pretty good, too. Lineman isn't that big of a need. Like, do you go with Lenny Sanford, who looks absolutely disgustingly good? Or do you go with Du Bois, who's just fast? I'm going to go with Sanford. He is hidden. 74 overall. We got the A to reorder glitch. Okay, he's very good. He could play guard. I don't know who the hell we can I mean, Everyone's damn playing guard these days for us. Let's go to the next round. If somehow that corner's still there, we'll take him. I'm starting to think that maybe we shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that Titus is really looking bad because... No, nah, actually, we have we have enough room for everyone. Uh, Quan Jones, not actually bad. Fifth round, we might take him as well. Maggot, early sixth. Yeah, some of these guys we have that are pretty late are decent. 
I'm debating on what we want to do here in the third round. Well, it depends on, I guess, what we have in the fourth and fifth, which we might not have either. Yeah, we don't. If we can try to get to the fourth to gain an extra fourth, that could be clutch. So we got two fourths by trading down, and with that, uh, we got one... Was it one extra? That No, it might have been both this year. But yeah, pick one in the fourth round is not terrible, and then 22, which is kind of terrible. But I think that's kind of fair. Uh, Quan Jones does look very good, and he's young. What is he? Was he a mid? Oh, that's totally worth it. I'm going to take him now. And, okay, maybe he wasn't worth it. Normal development, definitely developable. But for us, he's just going to be a backup. Let's move down. Hopefully, at least one of the other players we have is there because we can't trade up anymore. We've uh, we've been expending our uh, next year picks. We're almost always down a fourth round. Uh, Javante Ferguson. He actually looks pretty good. We're, we'll take him. Screw it. Okay, another guy with a high overall. However, he is normal, so... It's kind of just a backup. I think we can get rid of the other guy now, though. Our other backup. The guy's there. Uh, who, was it a tackle? What was it? There's another lineman. Do we really need more linemen? We'll trade this one down. Well, we got that fourth round pick back uh, from the Browns, who seem to be in the Super Bowl every time, but at least we got it back. Guard's still there. We'll take him. Who cares? Another normal. I mean, it's another good player, but haven't really hit on the hiddens today. And then we'll maybe just take a random selection in the seventh. We're going to take a decently fast wide receiver with a very young age. Uh, yeah, he's not that good, though. <laughs> he's not very good at all. We have to take a look at, obviously, our devs, because we did get a decent bit of them. But mainly, I do want to see that middle linebacker that we let go. The main thing was the fact that he was a lot older, but he was a decent bit slower as well. So really comes down to the developments on you know whether we did well or not. But I think overall in the draft, speaking of, we definitely did pretty damn well. Very damn well, I guess, is the the word I would choose. Now, Chris McCanny's 23, so let's take a look at that dev. Please be better than Star. It's all right. It's all right. He's a very high overall, so it could have been worse by a lot. Could have been normal, and he was like a 70, you know, like the safety we took later, but obviously it was later. Lenny Sanford. Is it Sanford? Stanford. Star development, but obviously a great player. Should be a day one starter, but McKees... Marquise is definitely going to be the guy. Now, moving down, I want to see this middle linebacker, and pretty much that's it, honestly. Here's Hammond. Uh, he, okay, he was normal, which is huge. Big difference. Thank God for youth, right? I mean, what? Uh, he wasn't as slow as I thought, though. I thought he ran like a 4.7. Uh, a 4.71. Four, seven, is that what 4.71 looks like? That agility is insane. Obviously, nowhere near as good as the guy we just got in coverage is horrendous. Thankfully, we chose the right one. That would have been detrimental. Like, that would have been deadly bad. And now we have the debate of, do we want to play in a 3-4 or not? Which is also a fun one. I don't think so, though. I think we're good. Well, here we go into year three. We have yet to actually earn a freaking playoff spot. This is definitely a playoff-worthy team, though. Offensive line is all in pretty much the 80s. You average them out. It's probably about 86-ish. Uh, looking at the wide receivers, you know, you got an 87, 86, quarterbacks, 93, running backs, 85, best running back we've had so far, a different Johnson, uh, safety, 78 overall out the gate, and he's a star rookie, so maybe defensive rookie of the year, same with Riddle, uh, Horton has some upgrades, he'll get to about an 80 at least, D-line's upgraded with Casey, uh, Shelton's a little bit better, corner's still a bit of a problem, but not every team is perfect, yet yeah, that's the way it seems you have to be to even freaking make the playoffs in Sim half the time. If we don't at least make the playoffs in this one, I think I'm calling it there, and I'm calling it a failed, because honestly, we've we've turned it around pretty nicely. Ayuk is already an X-Factor, you know, like, there's not much we can do better to get to the playoffs, but yeah, sure, man, if, if you say so, EA. 84 overall is probably uh, the best in the league right now. You know, considering most of the teams you play in the playoffs are 81. And then once they get to the playoffs, they're like 82. And even then, you know, half the time they are only 81, 82. So, I don't know. This has got to be a playoff season, though. Hey, we got one. We usually do get a linebacker. So, Zach Cunningham is now a superstar. That's pretty big. Kiki QT failed another one. And then here, Carrion Johnson fails his. Do we have a few negotiations? I don't know if we can actually sign them all or not. We don't even have, like, anyone that I even care about. This is kind of awkward, isn't it? I mean, if we go JJ Watt, it'd probably be another tag situation. Let's give him a 20 mil. All right. Oh, he doesn't mind the salary, but the... Yeah, okay. So maybe we have a chance 
to re-sign him naturally, but we might just have to tag him again, which honestly, at this point in his career, the tag's not the worst situation. But yeah, everyone else, I'm not really too worried about maybe warring as well. We'll get him as a backup again. If we win, we're in. If we lose, I think we're 100% out, and we do win. All right, 10-6. and six. Finally, we make the damn playoffs. The Colts, uh, we lost to the Titans, I believe, who were 2-9 and nine at the time. I believe. Did we? Well, yeah, we did. And, yeah, that's that's awesome. Uh, we had a really bad losing streak in the middle. Turned around for three straight. Lost two. Won four straight. Barely snuck in. 10-6. and six, Not a bad record. I would still have expected more by now. And Deshaun Watson, I mean, this is this is highway robbery. It is. And on Johnson, he did really well. Probably carry on the offense, right? No? Okay. Uh, offensive line, very solid, even though Orlando choked it. The rest of the guys were good, though. 99 for AJ. Don't tell me if he was one away from Superstar. Do not tell me that's the case. Sack totals, uh, you know, anyone but a named guy already automatically sucks, it would appear. Or DT in general. Uh, and then kicking, Fairburn. Okay, dude. This guy is, he's getting on my nerves. Can we get any award win that, you know, is actually deserved? Riddle, okay. I mean, I'll take it. But once again, not really deserved. O-line, we have a couple of names on there now. Got two of the names. D-line, number five for Watt. Yeah, we're, uh, we're still underperforming at many positions. However, all that makes, all that matters is we're in. That's all that matters. We're in 87 overall. This is usually, we're usually a little higher than this, which kind of surprises me that we're this low because, you know, we filled the offensive line position very quickly. Like, very quickly. Uh, tight end is actually really solid. Two receivers are looking good. Uh, Fuller might actually go to uh, Superstar. You know, running back, Arian Johnson's playing like a freaking legend, you know, comparatively to, you know, Duke and David. We had a lot of, <laughs> a lot of those, uh, a lot of those Johnsons. What? Uh, superstar for Cunningham, who's 27, so he'll last for a while. That five-year deal is worth it. And then Riddle is obviously an X-factor. Lewis and Horton, not actually too bad. Uh, Horton, 85 overall, really solid. Uh, D-line, getting better. What's Shelton's abilities, actually? He's uh, still not a great pass rusher, but he's a great run stopper, and that's kind of what we need. We have enough pass rushers on this team, even though they suck half the time outside of Watt cornerback it's the texans <laughs> that's that's all i can tell you but here we go the Bengals. they're always killing it always making it to the playoffs 84 overall we're in 87 i mean by overall we should we should honestly make the super bowl at least right we won't but we should all right going to the end of the game they start with the ball and they do get a touchdown we get one right back though defense holds in the three we get touchdown again offense is actually looking all right not bad at all up 14 and half okay i mean if we play like this this is a Super Bowl team. I mean, this is the Bengals, who aren't, you know, the 84 is not bad at all. But for some reason, they just go off every time. I don't know what it is. EA's got some bold predictions out there, but they just go off. Unfortunately for them, um, well, for very, very nice. Uh, Deshaun Watson decided to absolutely ball out. This team went off. This team did really well. QT with three massive touchdowns. It might be more than his regular season. Uh, sack totals were always lacking, but at least we're crack a lacking. That what? Doesn't even make any damn sense. But I did it because it's me. No morals. Who cares? Really wish I had that bye week because then we would have already been the championship. Oh, the Browns. Oh, well, I mean they won a Super Bowl and they always do really well and they're still a low overall. Though, so you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying maybe. If we can play like we did last game, no one can stop us. I'm just putting it that way. All right, don't let the Browns do us dirty because I know they have enough Super Bowls in Sim history. Let us have one, damn it. 14-3, not a bad start, but that's why I said not a bad start, even though it was a great start. Didn't want to jinx it. 21-10, to almost the fourth. We're only up three. Okay, up by 10. Offense, keep it up, dudes. I think we've held on enough. We have 35-32 to against... The former Super Bowl champions, I believe. Very good gunslinger battle. Both teams threw a pick. Uh, I'm not sure why. So that's flawed as hell. Because he had a higher percentage, but just because he was just under 300 yards. Oh, wait, no, it's higher. I thought it said 145.8. Never mind. Never mind. It's fine. No flaws here, uh, except for my brain, of course. 43 yard long again. Uh, Ayuk with two. Defensively, any numbers? A couple sacks today. I'll take it. Riddle with a pick. Not bad. Can we do this? 
Can we do this? Championship round? I'm just saying. Can we do it? The 12 and 4 Bills. Damn, a lot of teams. Maybe we aren't. I mean, in fairness, we're doing well because we're the you know highest overall out of all these teams. But we're not doing that much better than the other teams. So maybe we aren't ready. I don't know. It's Josh Allen. Don't lose to Josh Allen. Please don't do it, at least. <laughs> Defense is doing as much as it can. Honestly, offense is just not. I mean, offense is literally trying to lose the game. I, th I think they actually are. I think they're trying to lose the game. Thank you a little bit they get the two-point conversion huge touchdown all right offense you score on this drive which you don't why would you do that why would you do okay it's overtime apparently i'm just gonna go for it this team sucks the game is over if we don't get it but the game is over if we punt anyways because we suck like i said if you weren't listening there you go, Will Fuller. Kind of look like DeAndre with the hair, but that's as far as it goes. That's that's about it. Please, offense. Please. What's happening? Oh, my lord. Are they going to try to kick another field goal? They're not. I'm going for it again, dude. I don't even care. We're living by the risk today. Who cares? Who's that? Ayuk on the inside. Colin Johnson as well. We're just, I mean, we're just going to hit the slants all day. They keep backing up. Look how hard it is, Watson. This is not all Madden. You've seen us fail many times on all Madden, so don't even start with me. Oh, wow. We won. That's insane. This offense is so good. Yeah, not a chance we win the Super Bowl. Not a chance. Let's just take a quick look at the stats before we get disappointed in the Super Bowl with a huge loss. Defense, once again, it did as well as it could. Fairburn, oh, he missed a 62-yarder in the snow. Damn, Fairburn, you should be cut. In fairness, he should be cut for being bad in the regular season. But, yeah, that's, uh, why would you kick that? I don't even know if I take that with Justin Tucker. You know, like, it's got to be a very specific situation, like three seconds left. I don't even know if I would take it with three seconds left. I might just take the Hail Mary just so I don't get blocked and lose, you know, on a field goal block touchdown. Let's take a look at those dev ups, as this could be the final game if we do end up winning this. It very well could be. Will Fuller does not go up and up in dev. Either does carry on Johnson. Okay, dude. Okay, man. Uh, defensively, not a single dev up either. So I don't think we've earned a single end of the season development up except for Ayuk, right? I believe so. Nice. We'll upgrade our guys and then uh, here it is. And by guys, plural, I mean just guy. The Seahawks, they've been in the playoffs quite a bit too or the Super Bowl. We're up three overalls on them. So EA... Please, just this one time, do the right thing. Just one time. That's all I ask from you as a company. Please, Houston. An undeserved Super Bowl win so we can end this nightmare. An undeserved Super Bowl win for the boys. Okay, no one seems like they deserve it. Seven all. Damn, I did not like... I get nobody wants to go down a touchdown, right? But for us in this situation, nice, nice field goal attempt. Good job, carry on. But I just don't feel like we're good at all. So, like, if we don't have a huge lead, I don't believe in it at all. We do have the ball moving down the field. Offense is doing all right. Thank you for the touchdown. It was super undeserved because the freaking refs basically walked you down. Damn, Seattle. Four minutes left. If you score here. Oh, wait, did he hit it? Was that for the tie? Was that for a tie? Really? Please. Watson and company, and they do it. 40 to 34. What a Super Bowl it was. Damn, son. Houston wins a damn bowl, and I like it. Nice. Nice indeed. Not bad at all, actually. And, whew. Okay, that was, uh, that was something, wasn't it? That was, uh, that was, that surely was a something. I'm actually surprised. Regular season, Deshaun Watson is garbage. Postseason, yeah, not bad, actually. He's decent. So, I don't know how that's possible. And I don't like Deshaun Watson anymore as a regular season QB in rebuilds. But, hey, he gets the job done in the postseason. So, you just get into the postseason somehow. Just carry the hell out of him. And, yeah, you know, carry on Johnson. Carry on the damn team. He was balling. 1,500 yards over double-digit touchdowns. No idea how he didn't go to superstar. Fair enough, Will Fuller maybe. You know, a lot of good wide receivers and whatnot. But carry on Johnson crushed it. Huge addition. David Johnson and Duke Johnson terrible they were absolutely terrible for us 
Even though I think Duke's decent, and he's not, like, super undersized. He's just a little short, but he's got the weight. So I'm a little surprised he didn't do better, even though he is mainly a receiving back. But he's still okay. But he couldn't get it done. We changed the team around a bit. Free agency helped us finally. People actually decided to sign with us. And here we are on top of the world, ready to end the rebuild. Look at the cl closeness again of the passer rating. Carry on absolutely insane. Uh, he broke a tackle and then scored from a ton, kind of. Well, yeah, the main one was. Uh, nice receiving for the most part. Not bad. Defensively, any numbers to be proud of? No sacks. Gary Connolly with a pick. And Fairburn missed a field goal. Nice. It was not even from 50-plus. Nice, Fairburn. Super deserved kicker. Shouldn't even be in the league at this rate. With all the, all the misses he's had for us, he would be probably out of the league. Or, like, fighting for, you know, each year would be trying to get one-year contracts on a team that's desperate. Uh, you know, that, like, kind of panic releases their kicker because of a really bad week or two. But anyways, that is the rebuild. Floating phone. Gotta love it. Great way to end it. That was the rebuild of the Texans. Like I said, I think Thursday will be the Panthers' uh, realistic rebuild. We might do another rebuild on Twitch soon. I definitely want to just stream randomly on Twitch. I need to do it soon. I was hoping to get Animal Crossing like already, so then I could you know have that. I could do like an hour of Superstar KO and then like an hour or two of Animal Crossing. That would have been slick. But of course, the delays. Love it. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Once again, suggest in the comment section below a realistic rebuild from, you know, one of these free agent moves or trades that you want to see. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed. Hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video, follow me on Twitter, Trumpy Care. See ya!